All right, everybody, welcome back. I got a handful of rocks here we're gonna cut. These are all nodules from the Gila Bend Mountain Range area. It's outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Let's walk through these real quick. See what we got. All right, so this one, you can tell why I picked it up. It looks like it's got some orbs on the uh, outside here. Now it is broken open here. And I don't see much. So I'm not sure if it's gonna translate to the inside of this stone or not. But let's cut it open to find out. All right. This piece here. Oh, that looked interesting when I picked it up. Oh, okay. Well, it's got some color to it. So, again, I'm interested to see what's in it, which is why we cut them. All right, this piece here looks like. Okay, so this was a piece of saginite, I believe. You can see a little bit of the sprays on the surface here. All right, what I'm hoping for is it's got more color on the inside than this is just weathered. I'm hoping for a uh, purple. That'd be nice. Purple, red, or both. Okay, definitely another piece of saginite. You can see some of the sprays on the surface. You see what looks like maybe a purple color. Again, weathered on the outside. <clears throat> Skin is really interesting on this one right here. But if you look at the edge here, I don't know if it goes in too far. Definitely another saginite. Ah, so when I'm collecting these out in the desert, this is kind of what I see and kind of clues me into what's inside of it. Um, these weathered edges don't really show much because they're oxidized. But that one's definitely going to be a saginite. I got a big chunk here. Don't know what this is. It's got some fractures in it, uh, at least on the surface. I don't know, it looks interesting. Definitely got some interesting patterns to it, and it's definitely got some agate in it. So I'm gonna be curious to see what's in this one. All right. <clears throat> Again, got some fractures in this one. Looks like it's got some purple color possibly. And I'm gonna guess this is another saginite. or a tube bag it. Hard to say. But we'll find out. We will find out. Alright, got a little piece here. It's another saginite.
interesting surface. All right, we'll cut it and see what's in it. And last one here. Okay, not really sure what this is. It looks like it's got some agate or chalcedony. Very interesting surface though. So I'm definitely curious to see what's in it. All right. Let me get these off of the saw. We will get these cut and see what's inside them. All right. All right, everybody back from the saw. Let's walk through and see how we did. So this first one had that kind of cool looking skin, but it looked like it didn't go very deep. Let's take a look. All right, so, yeah, that, that white part looks like it stayed mostly all the way white. It's got some spots in it. I'm guessing the saginite was just really tight. And this is cut perpendicular and we're just seeing the spots from it. And you get a little more color on the outside edge, maybe where it oxidized. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, this edge for sure you can see some of the saginite sprays coming in. Alright, but all in all rather uninteresting except for the edge. Yeah. Alright, well good luck. Alright, next up. Okay, well this one looks a lot more interesting on the outside than it does on the inside. This is a little pitted. It's got a cool pattern, more so than the last one. But there's a lot of brown in here and pitting. It does have some purple and it does have some agate or chalcedony. But again, I'm guessing this is just going to be a yard rock. It's pretty. Okay, so you can tell this was a sad tonight. Let's see how we did on the inside. Oh, okay, not what I was expecting. All right, not much of a sad tonight, really, but it's got a really cool pattern in it. I think uh, most of these fractures are healed. I don't know about that one partially healed at least. Some pitting on the outside edge. I don't know, it's a pretty interesting pattern. Might be able to do something with that. Hmm, that's a cool spot right there. All right, cool. Next up, we'll take a look at this guy. All right. All right, well, definitely a saginite. I can see the sprays mostly along the edge where it's got a little bit of color. But the middle is mostly white. Well, might take a slab off of that and see. If we cut these, we can get light through them. 
All right, do something with that. All right, next one up. All right, so this kind of looks like a saginite. Yeah, you can see the sprays on this one. Yeah, a little bit of purple or gray coloring in the middle, but again, mostly white, a little bit of purple around the edges. Really cool pattern right here though. I mean, this is cool too, but it's more pitted. This side's not pitted. I don't know, maybe I'll take a slab or two off of this one and cab that section right here. Pretty cool looking, just not a lot of color. maybe a purple color I don't know mostly gray to me but I can see the saginite sprays in this a little bit better than the white <clears throat> not bad looking it's got some fractures in it some were healed some are not guy here so this turned out to be pretty cool looking on the red and white veining a little bit of purple uh, some of these fractures are not healed some of them are so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a big enough piece to cab off of this so might just face polish these because they're really cool looking. Love that pattern. All that veining in there. Cool. Alright. This next one's the one that kind of had the or or orbs. <clears throat> showing on the skin on that end a little bit here a little bit here so let's see how he did all right that's pretty cool looking of a black and gray pattern. A little bit of purple in there. A little bit of banding down here. You can see some of those orbs. That is pretty cool looking, especially right in here. That would make a neat cab right there. Pretty solid couple of pits or they could be 
Jersey Bugs, I'm not sure. Huh. That's pretty neat. Yeah, definitely gonna have to slide some of that. Alright, last up. Got this chunky piece. I wasn't really sure if this would be a tube or a saginite or what. Let's see what we got. Alright, it's kind of a saginite with a purple section. Got some color, different colors in here. Does have a fracture right there. That's pretty cool looking. Nice pattern. Yeah, it's definitely worth a slab or two. Look at this side. Nice purple right in there. Yeah, definitely have to get a couple slabs off of these. It's worth working. All right, well, this is the last stone in this video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.